Peach, rum, and orris. That sounds amazing to me. This is a fragrance by Gentleman's Nod and it's called Tusitala. In today's Cephalobon contributor video, I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts on this release. I'm also gonna let you in on a very special giveaway opportunity, so make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on Tusitala by Gentleman's Nod, I'm going to talk to you about the notes, the smell, performance, longevity, comparisons, and it's a pretty dense note breakdown. You have the saffron, you have the rum, you have the peach, you have some fruiting nuances, some floral components to it as well. But before I start the video, I do want to mention that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, and of course, if you love smelling your best, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So if you want to participate in the giveaway, there's a really exciting giveaway going on at cephalabond.com. All you have to do for your convenience, I dropped the link down below in the description box. Just click on that first link down below, read through the article, drop a comment in the article. You should already be a registered reader if you've done this in the past, and that's it. It's a very simple streamlined process. And of course, make sure to check back on over to cephalabond.com on the date that's mentioned in the article because that's when the winner is going to be announced, right? So you, just in case you do win, you don't want to miss out on your opportunity to collect your spoils, as it were. Look, booze, rum, peach, orris, saffron, citrus. This is an amazing fragrance with some versatility. Of course, this is a little bit heavier. There's this saccharine quality. It's a bit sweet and overripe on account of that peach, and that's what I get right away. It almost was like this tropical fruity explosion in the opening. And then I realized that with the absence of like passion fruit and star fruit and all these other fruits, it wasn't as tropical as I initially thought, but that peach is so succulent and so overripe. I'm gonna to talk to you about the smell in just a second. Let's take a quick look at the presentation first. Right in the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get this overripe, juicy, sugary peach ingredient. And that's really the heart of the perfume. This is a peach dominated composition. It is so beautiful. It is so elegant and so addictive at the same time. And I've tried so many other peach based fragrances and some of them can be a bit sugary. Some, be, some of them can be a bit on the fruity floral side of things. Some of them can share that proverbial spotlight with apricot. But this one, the peach, the spicy nuances coming from the rum, that booze in the undercurrent of the fragrance, and also the saffron is a really nice touch to the fragrance without making it smell leathery or anything like that. The orris is nice and waxy without being powdery. The citrus in the opening is very bright and jubilant, um, but it doesn't ever take the attention away from the peach. The peach and the fruiting nuances and that sugary quality coming from the peach inevitably is going to be the strongest thing that you're going to get in this fragrance. This is a phenomenal fruity fragrance if you are a fan of the note of peach. And of course, just look at the color of the liquid inside the bottle. I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell that this one, especially with it being a perfume extract, this one is going to be strongly concentrated, long lasting on my skin at least. And this is just a very well pieced together fragrance. Please check it out if you can. And don't forget to participate in the giveaway. First link down below. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, totally unique. I love that boozy peach combination that's happening in here. Very well done, and it's made by uh, Vincent Kuczynski from Mon. He is a perfumer who worked on this particular composition, and he did a phenomenal job with this one. Longevity, I got eight plus hours on my skin. Projection was very good for the first hour of application. It radiated at an arm's length, not beyond. It became an elbow's length scent right around hour eight, a skin scent right around hour 10. So longevity is gonna be nine or 10 hours and it's all gonna be contingent upon your skin chemistry. Versatility on this one, I would prefer to wear this one in the colder months of the year. Perfectly unisex, anybody of any age, you can dress this one up or down, so formally or casually. And as far as the presentation is concerned, really nice presentation. Distribution on the atomizer is pretty good too. And this stuff is awesome. For a peach-based fragrance, my overall assessment is if you're looking for something fruity and sweet, don't miss your opportunity to add this one to your collection. 
Hey, thanks again for watching. That was my review of Tusi Tala by Gentleman's Nod. If you took anything of value from today's episode, please do consider supporting the channel by clicking subscribe, hitting the bell, and giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode.